All right, the next method for ABG interpretation is the tic-tac-toe method. Now, I'll be honest, this is my preferred method, but make sure that you're trying all the different methods to figure out what makes sense to you and what works. Everyone has a different learning style, so each of these caters to different types of learners. This method specifically is very visual. It relies on visual placement of each value as acidosis, alkalosis, or normal, and then looking at the relationship between them. So I call this version one. This is actually what I use personally, and you'll even find a blank version of this in our scrub sheets. Essentially, you'd put a star or a heart or a smiley face on whatever you know matches up with uh, the values that you're seeing. But as I was putting this lesson together, I realized it's not as easy to see compensation. It's not as clear. And honestly, it's really more like the physiology version. So I'm going to show you tic-tac-toe version two and show you how quick and easy it is. And I think you're going to love it. So in version two, you're going to set up a little, little table that looks like this. Three columns, acidosis, normal, and alkalosis, and you'll have two rows. Now, this is super easy to just jot at the top of your paper. Acid normal, alk, two columns, two rows, right? So you can write at the top of your page on a test or on your brain sheet and clinicals. And as you do all of this interpretation, you're going to place each value in the box it corresponds to. So if your pH is acidotic and your PaCO2 is acidotic and your bicarb is normal, then you just write them in the boxes they go in. And then if you have two that match in one column, you automatically know that that's your source just by looking at it. So step two takes basically no thought. This is a respiratory acidosis. So let's work through some examples and then we'll look at compensation as we go. So step one, pH 7.52, it's high. So it is alkalosis. I'll write pH in that top box. PaCO2, it is low, so it is also alkalosis. So I'll write CO2 in this box. Bicarb of 22, that is normal, so I will write the bicarb in this box. So step two is done already. I see that my source is the CO2, and therefore this is a respiratory alkalosis. Okay? So now for step three. Now the first sign that we've talked about already is that both the CO2 and the bicarb are abnormal, right? But we can see the bicarb is normal. So there's no compensation. This is an uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. Done. On to the next one. Step one, the H of 7.29, it's acidotic. CO2 of 37, that's normal. Bicarb of 16, well, bicarb equals base, so a low bicarb is acidotic. All right, step two, what's my source? Boom metabolic acidosis. And again, let's look at step three compensation. It requires that both of these values are abnormal and we know it's not. So right away we can say it's uncompensated. That's it. Now, one other trick I have for you is that you could also have a mixed condition, in which case, let's say the CO2 was also showing acidosis, you would write it down here. And so I always tell people it's a mixed acidosis if one of your values is off the charts. So that would be uh, both respiratory and metabolic combined acidosis. Basically, it's a double whammy. It's a big problem. Okay, let's do another one. Step one, pH of 7.3 is acidotic. CO2 of 55, high CO2 equals acid. So that is also acidotic. Bicarb of 29, well, that's high. So that is alkalotic. Okay, so right away, step two, you can see we have a respiratory issue and we know it's an acidosis, so that's respiratory acidosis. Now step three, is there compensation? Are both the bicarb and the CO2 abnormal? Yes, they are, but the pH is still abnormal, so it's only partially compensated. Now here's where this tic-tac-toe trick comes in. We know that it is a partially compensated condition if the normal column is completely empty. Okay, so that's your partial compensation tic-tac-toe trick. A completely empty normal column means you have some sort of partial compensation. Okay, let's look at our last one. You can probably guess what this one's going to be because we've done it a few times already. Step one, pH of 7.44, that is normal. CO2 of 52, that is acidosis. And a bicarb of 35 is alkalosis. 
Now, this is the one time I'm going to skip to step three because I want you to see our trick. If you see a straight line all the way across with a normal pH, you know that whatever it is, it is fully compensated. Okay, so now we just have to go back to that critical thinking to determine the source. Again, we just need to know which side of normal our pH is on. In this case, it's leaning more towards alkalosis, in which case now we see that our bicarb is our source. And so this is a metabolic alkalosis that is fully compensated. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.